Okay, everything you see on the table is what I got today and on the floor. Uh, I spent $224. I'm going to divvy it all up and go through. Um, today, I, I think I did really good. I found a lot of uh, good deals, interesting stuff, and everything was either... Uh, two, two ways I like to buy stuff lately. It's got to be either good or it's got to be cheap. So everything was either good or it was it cheap or it was cheap or sometimes it was good and cheap. So I'm going to go through it. I'll start... I'm going to do the guitar first, and I'll do the games, and I'll do the rest of the stuff, because I got, I got games, uh, CDs, uh, perfume, just all kinds of stuff today, and I'm about to show it right after this video. I'm just going to piece a bunch of videos together to make it easier on myself. I don't have to sort through everything all in one shot. Okay, uh, one of the first things I bought today was this, uh, it's actually a Fender uh, guitar and amp. Uh, let me just show what really matters on the guitar. It's a uh, Squire Strat by Fender. It says Affinity Series. Um, this isn't a really valuable one uh, because the, the most valuable ones, I know very little about guitars, um, especially Fenders, but the most valuable ones were made in the USA. This is in Indonesia. Um, there's the serial number IC01110722. The reason I'm showing this first is so I don't have to have my friend Dan waiting around. Um, Dan, I already talked to you about this, Dan. You know what the deal is. If you have somebody who, uh, oh, this was, this is part of it. So I guess that's a tuner. And, uh, there's some cables. Here's a relatively good condition. Here's a stupid sticker. Uh, that can come off with lighter fluid. I don't know. Is, is that supposed to spin like beats the hell out of me? Uh, buttons feel okay. Switch feels okay. S strings, whatever. You probably need new strings anyway. Um. Uh, another stupid big sticker. This t comes off with lighter fluid. Sticker, sticker. Otherwise, cosmetically, this is just, it's like glue. It comes off, it, I can get it off with lighter fluid. A sticker. Cosmetically, I think it's in pretty good condition. Uh, will it play? I don't know. You, you're, you're the musician. So let me know. And also, I, I got the Squire um, amplifier. So, uh, Dan, uh, there it is. I spent 30 bucks for all of this. Uh, I, kn I know I didn't do wrong. I imagine it's got to be worth at least 150 to 200 but... Uh, oh, I got the bag too. Whoopee. Alright, yeah. On to the next. Alright, video game. Uh, games that I found today. I really thought I wasn't going to find any video games today because... Every video game I found was later in the afternoon. And it was very random. Some here, some there. Uh, most of them I found in lots, and all of them were really cheap. Uh, bought the Sonic, big Sonic for two bucks. I'll bring this tomorrow, AJ. You know, I'm gonna put it out. It looks like it was stitched up in the back. I don't really know what the deal is with that. Um, this was the best and most unbelievable find late in the day. Uh, no controllers, but a Jungle Green 64 uh, Red Expansion Pack, ten dollars, right? And then with that, they had these. Um, games two bucks a piece. Uh, Power Rangers, uh, Lightspeed Rescue, no clue on the value of that. Pokemon Snap, not too valuable, less than twenty. Pokemon Puzzle League, probably ten. Bags are blowing. Mario Kart, best game in the lot, uh, probably worth thirty-five, forty something. Hey, you Pikachu probably has like almost no value. One of the least desirable of all the Pikachu games. Here, stick that in my pocket. I'm gonna need these bags. I don't like them blowing away because then I forget about. Them. Two dollars a piece, one forty-five. Random yard sale. I'm looking at CDs. I turn around. I'm like, what the right? So I was like, oh, it's got to be super expensive, right? It was not, as you can see. Twenty bucks got me all of that. And then I bought this for five because I don't know what it's worth, but I might play it. I have um, a PSP. Oh, and uh, and then uh, this came to twenty-five, and for thirty, she gave me uh. All together, these two controllers, they feel all right. They're probably good. Uh, and they got the regular batteries once. I, I can get the charging cables. Uh, no, actually, they get batteries, so that's good. They'll sink. Okay, check this lot out. Now, these games aren't really anything too special, right? But, again, this is yard sales for you. All the games here were a buck a piece. So, at a dollar a piece, I'll buy stupid games, and then I'll lot them, and I'll... Put them on eBay. I mean, 
like drawn to life. It has almost no value, right? Uh, very undesirable club penguin. Uh, Raymond raving rabbits. SpongeBob SquarePants. But since I only paid a dollar a piece, if I can do like six, uh, and I, I might even do them uh, loose. I might save the covers, do the games loose, um, and do them for like 25, 30 bucks, whatever, five bucks a piece, pet resort, free shipping, Zoo Tycoon, I will make money. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of taking them to the flea market, nobody buys them. Xbox 360, Truth or Dare, Crisis 2, uh, PGR 4, and uh, Forza Motorsports 3, all a buck a piece. They'd be perfect for a lotting on eBay. Um, five bucks. Check this out. Game Boy Advance Charger, Strawberry Shortcake Manual, in case anybody's looking. Uh, a game zone case. Red working Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Uh, BS games. Uh, the Muppets on the show. It's like a girl's lot. I don't know. I, you know, it's not the bright screen. Secret agent. Uh, Lizzie McGuire. These take too long for me to sell. If this one works, I'm probably going to throw it on eBay and lot it. You know, um, maybe I'll save it for the conventions. Because I only paid five for it, I can sell it like 25, 30, 35, whatever I feel like. I have tons of room. Um, okay, this game was two dollars. GameCube Rebel Strike. They had some other BS GameCube games for two dollars, but I don't want to waste my money on total BS. Book a piece. I'm getting PlayStation 2 games to lot. Scooby Doo Night of Frights. Tie the Tas Tasmanian Tiger. I have Tie Two, so I think I'm gonna lot that with this. I have no clue about this one. Going Quackers. Donald Duck, it's probably not worth that much. And then Tom and Jerry, War of the Whiskers, not sure. And I didn't take the time to uh, look them up. Uh, let's see. A buck a piece. Tom and Jerry in Housetrap. Uh, the Bombing Islands, Ape Escape, I know that's a, a good one. A Men in Black, probably not worth much. Shrek Treasure Hunt, uh, probably not worth that much. I've never heard of the Amazing Virtual Sea Monkeys, we'll have to see. Monsters Inc., probably not worth too much. Buzz Lightyear, same thing. Jam Pack, I just buy these, I give them to Daryl. Uh, Casper, Friends Around the World. Again, only a dollar a piece, whatever. Tiny Toons, Plucky's Big Adventure. Who knows? Uh, Eminem, Shell Shocked, Cubert, Bug Race. This is stuff for the con that, it, you know, whatever. Even if I get dollars for it. Uh, race and Ride. This one's sealed, Gubble, but it's got cracks in it. So, I've decided to do. This one, Raymond Brain Games, it's sealed. And it's in pretty good condition. Worms, World Party, not familiar. Uh, Harry Potter, not worth much. Never heard of Creatures. Easter Bunny's Big Day, you got me. And uh, Pipe Dream 3D, another game I am unfamiliar with, so I have no clue in the back. That should be all the games. If I find any more games, uh, I'll show them right after this video. Alright, if you ask me what's the most unusual item I found today, I'm going to say uh, it's these Nike Air Obama 08 change yes we can sneakers um unfortunately they're they're big sizes uh, one of them size 12 the other size uh oh here it is uh u.s size 12 too big for me and the other one size 13 so they're big but they're never worn exact same sneakers I checked only ten dollars for the two, five bucks a piece. I mean, come on, they were just sitting there waiting for me to buy them. Um, I uh, checked online; they should be worth, at the very least, fifty bucks a piece. That is the most uh, unexpected, unusual thing that I bought today. Still got a bunch. Still got a bunch of good stuff to go through. Hang in there. I missed this video game. Got to mention it. It's a sealed Dora Snakes saves the Snow Princess. I don't know. It was a dollar, so I just bought that. No, actually, it was part of this. Okay, all of this was five dollars, and this was in the bag. Um, random uh, figures and dolls. I just took anything they had that was action. I took some Hot Wheels, Grave Digger, uh, School Bus. This is stuff we can get anywhere from a dollar to uh, four or five dollars for. Mostly some wrestlers. Spider-Man, uh, another wrestler, another Spider-Man, what, it's like Yoga Krishna Spider-Man pose, uh, Hess, uh, Star Wars, a little, um, I don't know, this says McDonald's, no, it says 01, beats me, uh, oh, and this is uh, Ben 10, 
of Ben 10 for you. This is a pretty big one. All of that was $5, and this was $2. Uh, I'm doing the perfume now because I bought this together. Uh, this is the one sale where I rolled up and I actually missed a whole bunch of perfume. The lady was negotiating to buy all the perfumes. Uh, so I was like, uh, but she wanted them less. They were only two bucks a piece, right? So I was like, well, what do you want for this one? She goes, two bucks. So the lady didn't want to pay two bucks a piece. She wanted to buy everything for less. So she's like, yeah, two bucks. I said, all right, I'll take it. Unbelievable. Um, I don't know. This was like three, uh, two, three, f five, seven, eight bucks, I think. AJ. The, and oh, see all this stuff, AJ? I'm bringing it tomorrow. You could put it out. So we got three. No, we got five. We got eight. That's 13. And whatever's in this bag was another five. 18. $18. Uh, so we got to split $18. We're in together on toys from now on. Look at all this. It's all... It's all um, Minecraft, the figures. There's a pig that looks like a, a cow. TNT, some of the guys. Random figures, people, this guy. Um, Steve, I think is one. I, you know, I don't remember. I never played Minecraft. Didn't care for it. The whole bag, $3. You tell me what we're going to make it. I'm not really sure. All right, I, I'm assuming this is some kind of a, a Pokemon character I just don't know the name of it two bucks big wrestler guy nice smile looking good few bucks and then this this little bunch of stuff was a dollar um, I forget the name of this movie but you'll know what it is uh, Hot Wheels Hot Wheels Hot Wheels Hot Wheels okay let me just dump this out everything here was five bucks what we're going to have to do, AJ, is we're going to have to sort all this at some point. It's a mix of Star Wars and other stuff, but I don't really know, so we'll sort it tomorrow. Check this out. It's, uh, it comes on a stand, and it's a Star Wars guy riding some kind of robot that shoots stuff. Here's another one where the guy shoots. Maybe these... Yeah, oh my God, they shoot. So they're like stand, and they're on wheels. Oh, let me put this here. It's me dropping stuff. All right, let me put this back. So I'm not really big into Star Wars. Star Wars doesn't sell super crazy. Oh, here's a Transformer. Look at that. But five dollars. They just said here, it's a good old five dollars. You know that doesn't happen anymore. You know, here, here, and these things seem to shoot. If I press that button, it's going to shoot. So I'm not going to do it. Parts. Uh, more Star Wars. Let's see what it says. It says, stand up if you have Jedi in play. It must be from some game. And here, Megatron. And it has a little wheel thing on it. I have no clue. But here, there's Chewbacca. Another Star Wars. That guy. Stormtrooper. Cannon of some sort. Uh, I guess that's Boba Fett, right? Yeah, Boba Fett. Uh, Royal Guard. Uh, Django Fett. Bobo has a brother, and his name is Django. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Anybody know what this is? Just tell me. I only paid five bucks for everything. I'm taking it tomorrow. AJ, you and I can look at it. Uh, that should be all with the random toys. I still have that much stuff to go. Okay, I'm starting to get down to it. A little bit left. Uh, jewelry. That'll take me a little while to go through. Uh, let me do this. Uh, Daryl, this is for you. Okay. So, Sealed, never open. I know you like this stuff for you. All right. Um, no no metal ones again. They're just your normal. Oh, here. This is for my kid. She likes Frankenstein. Okay. Oh, and a bar. A, 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 some dub soap. I'll put that there to weigh it down. Okay, Daryl. Um, then I got five of these. You are 90 minutes. Memorex Maxell. Sony HF. I don't know what, you know. If you want to lot them or do whatever or anything, I'm sweaty. All right, um, AJ, I think this should be for the show, you know, the toy show. Papa Smurf, Smurfette, Smurf. These have got to be from the 80s. Uh, they're on black, uh, some kind of print under glass. They look like they're from the 80s. I, I don't think the Smurfs go back to the 70s. I'm not really sure. If they do, it's the late 70s. Here's some DVDs I got today. 
uh, Hangover, Blu-ray, Cinderella 3, Cinderella 2, Enchanted Tales. Uh, I'm going to start saving, I'm going to take some DVDs to the cons that I'm doing. So like Beetlejuice, that's the first perfect one, and The Dark Knight. Uh, these I'll probably sell at the flea market, so I'll just throw them in here. This. Alright. Uh, CDs. All the CDs I got today, I paid anywhere. This I'm keeping. I paid anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar. I mostly paid a dollar. Chicago, uh, Tommy Jane's Hanky Panky, Deep Purple Smoke on the Water, uh, Doobie Brothers Minute by Minute. I gotta take that sticker off or else everybody busts my chops. It says a dollar ninety nine on it. Well, it did say a dollar ninety nine. Doesn't anymore. One thing I do is when um, I forget to take a sticker off of something and people go which says two dollars on it and i'm like uh 20 bucks who says two dollars right i go oh that's my stupid friend he walks around he puts like cheap price stickers on my stuff don't mess me up neil young he thinks it's funny uh rock and roll hits 1959 those brothers chicago live uh gene chandler duke of earl patsy klein collection frank sinatra i paid two bucks for that uh frank sinatra's greatest hits that needs a new cover elvis in person Elvis, Always On My Mind, and Johnny Mathis, 16 Most Requested Songs, All-American uh, Rejects, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Jimi Hendrix Experience, Best of Carly Simons, Bruce Springsteen, The Rising, Nirvana, Live at Reading. I don't have this one. Hopefully, I think I looked at it. It wasn't scratched up. No, it looks pretty good. All right. Live at Reading. I'm going to put that on my iPod. And Bruce Springsteen in the East... Street Band, New York. Uh, I'll do that paperwork later. Uh, next, I'll be doing uh, whatever decorative, uh, collectible, and then I will finish with. There's a fucking bird shit bag. Yeah, don't hang your laundry outside. Birds will shit on it. Okay. <laughs> I got that on video. All right, uh, that's advice for today. Um, continuing on, um, this is the decorative stuff. I bought very little. Uh, this is like a Blanco. Uh, it's kind of big to be a glass but it's probably a, 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 like a glass or it could be a vase. And it's got that pushed and stuff, ponto bottom. I just know it's Blanco from experience. Here's an, or, uh, I paid a dollar. Here's an Orifer's uh, votive. That's uh, like candle holder, paperweight. Uh, it says Orifer's Sweden. Sweden. Comes in the box. I only paid $2. I don't know what to do with that. If I'm gonna sell this at the flea market. <laughs> Stuff's just blown away. All right. It's like a gust of wind. I don't know what the hell. Oh. Thanks. I know, right? You think, well, it's a box for the paperweight. Oh, Should have blown away. All right. Stop with the wind already, all right? But I'll use this paperweight here. All right. Now, I should have enough time to just finish doing this. Okay, I just want to weight this down. So this doesn't blow away again. It'd be annoying, and then I'll finish. All right, uh, Anna Lee. I don't. I. I can't find this. I looked it up real quick. It's a Mobilite. No, I'm sorry. It's a on the card. It said Santa Claus cat, and uh, it's from nine. I don't know when it's from. We only paid uh, two dollars for it. I like signed art glass. I paid 10 for this. It's signed by someone I believe is named. Oh, I can't catch a light right now. Cole. Are you kidding me? All right, the thing blew away again. <laughs> I think uh, it's it's dated. Let me put on my better glasses. And then I gotta try and catch a light. All right. Sorry for the delay. All right, it's signed. Oh, that's better. It's numbered P937, and it's signed with what looks like... It's on this side. There it is. Uh, I'm just not cat... Oh, there it goes. Uh, it looks like Colland. C-O-L-A-N-D 85. It looks like Colin to me. I'm not sure. Unless it's... No, it can't be... It's got to be C-O-L-A-N-D. I'm probably not even going to sell it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I just... I'll save this. This is probably the, the nicest and finest piece of pottery 
that I, I'm going to be finding well, I, that I found today for sure. It's Italy, but this is probably like, um, I don't know, like Potosi or <laughs> blown away stuff. Uh, it's probably like a Raymore or a Netter. Uh, as you can see, it's really nice design. Look at the lid. Um, and there it is. I only paid $3 for it. And I can't find any damage, so I'm really happy about that. All right, next video will be jewelry. All right, this is the, the last fit. I don't really remember exactly what she paid for everything jewelry-wise to total it up right now. So what I'll just do is I'll go through everything uh, and work it that way. Probably the best thing that she got today was uh, this. This is a multi-stone uh, fetish necklace, uh, generally Native American design. Uh, the only This was only a dollar, and the jewelry over there was only a dollar, too. Don't know why it was, wasn't gone, even though this is the only imperfection. One of the... Uh, fetish animals is snapped in half, but it's still hanging on by a thread. Um, but otherwise, here I'll just do a close-up of all the different stones, um, turquoises, uh, agates, um, um, onyx, uh, ambers. That looks like just uh, really nice. With uh, I guess that's all the same kind of animal. No, I guess it's a mix, but whatever. You see anything like these, or anything like this, at a sale, one with these multi strands. If this were perfect, I think it would easily be over $100. Uh, I'm not sure with the teeny weeny bit of damage, uh, because it would be really difficult to repair uh, without unstringing everything. Of course, you could just take the fetishes and restring and have it done, and sometimes that's not very expensive to, to be done anyway. Uh, this is one of those seed uh, bead necklaces she's worried it's a little frayed over here but overall it's in pretty good condition we only paid a dollar for it so we shall see this was a dollar uh look at that it looks like a uh, i guess a, a jaguar or a leopard or something multi-stone uh, amber chips uh glass chips a dollar yeah this was also a dollar it was all at the same place uh this was also a dollar this is uh probably a mexican Green stone agate. I don't really know. I'm not good on my stone, so this was also a dollar. Seed bead coral. She's gonna make so much money on that stuff. That's gonna be great. Um, I think she paid five for these, and these are silver nine two five. Uh, she just liked it. Multi stone. These she also liked. These were only a dollar or two. Can't remember, but uh, they are marked nine two five. She might give those as a gift. Uh, check these out. 2016 Merry Christmas Santa giving you the hi ho whatever hello or he's saluting don't know what he's doing uh, I don't know if you can read this Merry Christmas my wonderful friends 12 25 2016 engraved uh, best wishes peace and joy this holiday season 2016 if you can read down there where my thumb is it says one troy ounce point nine 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 five so we paid 50 cents a piece for these uh, scrap them tomorrow I guess it's, uh, I don't know what scrap is. I'll just say around 15. Uh, Merry Christmas. Same kind of message on the back. There it is, one troy ounce, point nine 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 fine silver. Right. Uh, she paid 10 for this. This is, uh, what a delay, carnelian and large coral beads. No, and we bought this on an estate. The only reason it was so cheap was because it's missing a clasp. My wife will replace the clasp with something nice, suitable, and then look how nice that's carved. And then uh, she'll be able to up the price on it. Uh, I got this, it, this is like, it was only a dollar. Same sale, I got all that other, we got all our other stuff for a dollar, my wife found all this. This is a Ganesh, and I don't know, it seems kind of like kind of an old one. Whatever, I don't care what I get for it. Uh, here's a little love sterling uh, charm with a silver necklace. I think she paid $3 for that, she's gonna sell it for probably 10. Uh, like sodalite, you know, I don't know, you tell me. It's that denim colored stone. I don't see a sterling hallmark anywhere. Uh, it doesn't go to a magnet. Uh, I believe it's silver. And, uh, like I said, I don't see, oh wait, what's this? Uh, I don't see any hallmarks anywhere. So, the chain didn't go to the magnet, another one to the magnet. Uh, magnet. It should be 10 bucks, you know, so it's, it's really nice. It's totally worth 10 bucks. This is probably fake as hell, but it doesn't go to a magnet, so that's one good thing. It says 750 Cartier, Cartier, copyright OL47, 
lightly acid etched uh, TY and then some other marks. Uh, and then, oops, it kind of clips like this, you know, like a snap clip. So 750 is, I believe, 18 karat gold. Uh, that'll be a white gold. But like I said, it doesn't go to a magnet. We're assuming this is this is fake as hell. I, I'm not impressed by the screwdriver design. I, I don't find it to be very deep or anything like that. Um, but it was like a, it was five dollars. So we're like, well, let's take a chance and, and throw five dollars away. We will see. Anyway, that's everything we got today. I think we did really great. We found a lot of stuff. We're gonna make a lot of money for uh, what we paid, and the profit margins are gonna be fantastic. So, woohoo or woohoo or whatever. I don't know. Um, shout outs to up and coming Collecticon. Uh, there might be some important news happening with that. I'll let you know later. Um, Nas, my friend at Columbus, helping me out, spreading the word on uh, Collecticon. AJ, of course, always not here today. He decided not to go to the Meadowlands. He went shopping and found some good games. Check out his pickup video later. Uh, some really excellent stuff. And uh, video gamer Daryl, of course. Uh, shout out to. Ringwood, we're going there tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be an antique thing. Um, AJ's bringing games, so if you're in the area, we're going to bring. He's going to bring games and some of the toys I showed in the previous video, plus a bunch of other toys that we have. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to uh, No Rain, Sunny Day. Uh, checking out uh, all my videos. Shout out to to giving me a thumbs up and uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, goodbye, everybody.